G-A-E, that word, which is what I think this is up here. I think it is. It looks like it is green and it's gunky. <laughs> there's, ooh, there's nothing worse than like when you're swimming out in a, a natural spot and your foot touches a bunch of slimy algae. And you're like, ew, something touched my foot and it's slimy and it's gross. Yeah. Reminds me of one time when I was uh, swimming in the, uh, was I in an ocean? Like, it just did a big sigh. I was, wait, my family very briefly had a little boat. Uh, as a lot of flirty instead. We sold it when I was a little older, so it's been a long time, but we'd take the boat out on, um, in the little canals that lead into the ocean around our town. And, um, swimming there and one time we were out with friends and I remember uh, my friend's mother being like I don't want to panic anyone but something very large just touched my foot and so we very calmly swam back to the boat and that was the end of swimming for the day. I don't know if it was a shark, a dolphin, a manatee, probably one of the three and I fell off again. <laughs> anyway I still wonder what that end with the animal was to this day. I feel like I should get a Jubilee Falls Off the Roof counter. <laughs> like a telly. Telly Mark, how many times can she fall off this roof, guys? Let's find out. Oh, let's get this very satisfying little strip. Ooh, this roof is looking good, right, guys? It's sleek and it's shiny. Although, look at the progress bar. It's like barely halfway. Yeah, come on. But we're gonna clean up this entire house today and it's gonna be so good. And then the little progress, uh, you know, the video thing it takes is gonna be so satisfying. Sorry, I'm trying not to say the word satisfying like a thousand times, but I can't help it. I just can't. Okay, let's clean up this bit. Or actually, I can like, I can stop here.
CNC engineer. His whole job is like finding the ways to be most efficient at things. And um, I 100% got that gene from him. <laughs> my dad and I are a lot of like, uh, but my mom and I actually were a lot of like two. In school, I always felt more like my mother because I loved reading and writing so much. Uh, if I was ever doing anything outside of school, it was reading. Uh, my mother could not buy me enough books in the world. All I wanted 24-7 was books and to read. I, I still love to read. I don't read as much as I did as a kid, which is a shame, and, and that is probably due to video games taking over my life. Yikes. They really did, but the, lately I've gotten back into reading. And did you love to read as a kid? I, I hope you did, because it, it's really fun. I think a lot of kids think uh, reading is boring as a kid, but it takes you to new worlds, and it, kids with overactive imaginations, I feel like, would really like it. I know it can be hard for some kids to uh, concentrate on reading something, but then maybe you would enjoy audiobooks. I think they're very good for... Uh, If you, if you struggle to keep your attention span on reading something, then maybe listening to a book would be better. I personally don't enjoy audiobooks as much. I want to read it for myself, but that, that's just me and a lot of other people love audiobooks. Having someone read to you can actually be, you know, quite an ASMR experience. I remember the one audiobook I did have as a kid was I had one of the Harry Potter audiobooks. It was for Goblet of Fire. Yeah, Goblet of Fire. It was the American one, so it wasn't the one uh, narrated by Stephen Fry. I don't remember the name of our narrator. It was very weird to me because both the narrators for the American book and for the British book were both British, so why would you not just use the same guy? It's so confusing to me. Okay, where is all the... well, this is, a uh, this is just the gutter, so it really shouldn't matter if this shouldn't be part of the roof. Um, it's just this part is... no. Wait, does this count as part of it? Well, we'll see. I think maybe it does like this bit here. I haven't changed the soap, but it seems to be doing a, a decent enough job, but we don't really need to change the soap. But yeah, I kind of remember feeling like a little asmr -y when uh, when I was listening to this audiobook. It made me very sleepy, so I'd lie in my bed and listen to the audiobook. I think maybe that's why I don't enjoy audiobooks, because to me, I've kind of conditioned myself to fall asleep if someone is reading to me. My, uh, my partner is the same way. Actually, someone commented, uh, that, like, if you're married to an ASMR artist, you must sleep well all the time. Yeah, that's actually kind of true. I read to my partner every night to help him sleep. He does struggle to sleep. Like a lot of us uh, who joined the ASMR community because we couldn't sleep and we were looking for answers and help. Um, and he still, you know, is that way, but he doesn't always listen to ASMR because it doesn't always help him sleep. It, sometimes it just relaxes him, but uh, doesn't put to sleep. So I read to him every night. I'll pick a book, we'll go through it. Because he falls asleep, it usually takes a really long time to go through a book. We just finished a book, so I'm trying to find a new one right now, and I've been reading Shadow and Bone, the... it's like a... they recently made it to a show on Netflix, so I thought I would check it out, um, but I haven't made it past the first chapter. 
because I've been reading it with him and he keeps falling asleep and then I reread and he falls asleep and then I reread and so it's like I make it maybe an extra paragraph every night <laughs> isn't that funny? yeah, so that is what it's like being married to an ASM artist they read you to sleep <laughs> if they're me <laughs> or sometimes uh, if the book isn't working then I will like ramble, like I'll do like a whisper ramble, like an IRL whisper ramble, and uh, where is the, like I know this little bits, okay, this little bits of dirt everywhere, but like that's not enough to be causing all this, where is the, where's the dirt, <sighs> maybe, okay, it's time to actually jump off, because maybe this bit, well this is actually just part of the gutter, but we can still clean it up. So sometimes I do whisper rambles about what I've been doing in a game. Like, I'll go through and I'll talk about what I did in The Sims. <laughs> Isn't that funny? And let me tell you guys, it's so boring. He goes right to sleep. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, Atticus is making little sleepy sounds. So cute. He's been so picky, it's driving me crazy because he, as I said, I, he got sick uh, when he when he feels bad, he doesn't want to eat, you know, like, like humans uh, so I wait for him to feel better and I, then he gets to eat but um, sometimes if he's sick, he gets kind of put off eating his food I think he's like, this food reminds me of being sick and I don't like that and I get that um, but he's now decided he doesn't want to eat his regular food anymore. In fact, he's decided he wants to eat wet food again. He hasn't eaten wet food since he was a tiny baby. I started out feeding him wet and dry food. I would put the wet food on top of the dry food and he'd eat like the wet food first and then he'd nibble on the, the dry food for the rest of the day. Well, he started, he started to not eat, like he would pick around the wet food, and it wouldn't be touching the wet food, so eventually I started leaving that out, and then he would be happy, so I'm like, okay, uh, Atticus doesn't like wet food anymore, and that was honestly how it was, and, uh, we just left it out, we thought, okay, he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it, that's, that's alright, he doesn't have to. Well, now all of a sudden he's decided he does not like the dry food. As he recovered from his little bout of illness, he wouldn't eat the dry food. So eventually, out of desperation, just to get the cat to eat something, I was like, wow, well, what food? Do you want what food? Yeah, he ate the wet food. I don't think he was thrilled about it, but he liked it more than the wet food, the dry food, I mean, which he wouldn't even touch. So I'm like, cat, what is wrong with you? Can you make up your mind, please? Because we've already been through this. Where you decided you weren't going to eat something, and then we stopped. And so yeah, I mean, I've heard the cats are picky, but my goodness, I didn't know they were this picky. Constantly changing their minds about what food they want to eat. And even today, he's been extra picky, because today he doesn't even really seem super interested in the wet food. And I know he's hungry. It's not like he's not hungry, because he's looking at the food and he's meowing and he's not eating as because he's normally a very very picky little cat that can eat a lot uh, so he's not eating I know he's hungry I know he needs to eat and he's not yeah so I'm like I'm at a loss now for what to feed him to make him happy get that maybe as cats grow their taste buds change a little bit and he's not so much a kitten anymore as he is he's one so he's starting to become an adult cat so maybe you know his taste buds just have changed i get that oh there's a ridge of grime and everything under that maybe that's that must be part of it um you know the thing that's like there's like that tiny sliver that says bungalow roof. That must be what we're missing. There's a little bit under there. I think 
it did not happen at all and your girl Jubilee is just a big silly <laughs> yeah, yeah, she is for real she is a big silly but she's cleaning up a porch fence right now why is cleaning so not fun in real life and so fun in this game, guys? answer, answer that, huh? top 10 Sci question science can't answer. Why power wash aim is so fun in a game? Not as fun in real life. I'm guessing. I'm guessing any kind of work, physical or you know otherwise, never as much fun as you think it's going to be. I figured I'd work on the back of the house next. The story, I think, was for this. I was getting text messages about it because it was, you know, part of the story. Was it was like, uh, I think it's the guy you remember in the last video that we were cleaning up a backyard. Well, that guy's parents' house needed to be cleaned, so it was like, hey, can you come clean my parents? I, did I pick metal? Yeah. Come clean up my parents' house, please. So this is the parents' house of the guy from the last video with the really, really dirty backyard. Good thing we live in such a dirty, uh, neighbor, this is like a dirty neighborhood, <laughs> a dirty world. Man, this is not, I think we gotta use this one because it just doesn't seem to be doing the job. There we go. We haven't gotten the wood frame, but you know, there's actually quite a bit of dirt underneath. There we go. Why am I squatting still? <laughs> Good question. Yeah, I gotta tell my dad that I've been playing this because he'll get it. He will find it hilarious. Um, as I've said, he's not a gamer, uh, and he does have a power wash thing. <laughs> oh, is it? What? What is this thing called? Uh, it'll probably get a huge kick out of that that I've been pretending to power wash on my computer. <laughs> he'll probably be like, oh, here, you can, uh, he'll say this exactly. He'll be like, well, shucks, you can come do the real thing. He, he speaks like he's this country boy. <laughs> it cracks everyone up because he's from up north. He's from, like, the New Jersey, New York area, but he speaks like a southerner. He has lived here a long time, to be fair, but yeah. He's a bit of a country boy. He loves to work on the farm, and he volunteers at this place um, that does uh, work with children for therapy. Uh, it's a work like therapeutic horseback writing, I believe. Um, something like that. Like a therapeutic kind of thing. Or maybe it's just a farm that just does this, but uh, my dad really likes horses and barnyard animals. I do too. It's not just him. We both used to volunteer at a farm together. They put on, you know, events, Halloween things, and uh, summer barbecues and stuff like that. That was a lot of fun. It wasn't too far from my house, so we could just go on a Saturday afternoon and then come home. It was nice and warm, and we'd maybe go swimming or go for a little walk or something. And yeah, very good memories that I'm happy to share with you guys of my childhood and teenagehood years, kind of living out in the country. Because I did, I didn't live in a city. I'm not a city girl. I am like a rural person, I guess. I would not say I'm a country girl, because that sounds silly. <laughs> I do enjoy cities, but I grew up being quite far away from uh, shops and stuff. Gotta drive like 15-20 minutes to go to the grocery store, which really isn't that bad. Some people have to drive a lot longer. And we were a lot closer to like cows and pigs. Actually, my, my neighbor, next door neighbor had a pig, so we 
yeah, we were really close to a pig. <laughs> and, guys, I know this is going to be sad and you guys aren't going to like hearing this, but one day that pig disappeared. <laughs> she was my friend, the, the girl that lived at this house. The young girl was my friend. And uh, it was her pet pig she got for Christmas, I think. It was a cute little piglet. I think they named Susie Q or something like that. She became one of those enormous hogs. I mean, just the biggest, pinkest pig you've ever seen in your whole darn life. And uh, one day I went over to her house to hang out, and I was like, Where's the pig? The pen in the backyard is empty. And um, she goes, Oh, we hate her. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. You guys are gonna be so annoyed that I sad story. I'm so, so sorry. That is, <laughs> that is life in the country though. Yeah. <sighs> I'm so sorry I told you the sad story. I, I couldn't have thought of a better story to tell you guys than about <laughs> my neighbor's sad pig. <laughs> yeah. Evidently not. <laughs> I'll try to think stories to tell you that are relaxing and not about pigs. I love pigs, so they're such smart creatures. Well, the back's looking good, except for the baseboard, but like I said, I've been trying to, you know, like, do things realistically, which would be, you would clean top down, of course. And yeah, someone mentioned that, uh, the, the, like, the sheer amount of water you seem to be wasting is, is pretty rough and, and no, I totally agree. I don't even like thinking about wasting water. So this is hard for me too. However, yeah, I gotta just see that it's a game, you know, and there, I'm not actually wasting water, even if it, it feels that way. But I suppose that means that in real life, uh, I'm, you know, power washing also takes up a lot of water, so you probably want to be very efficient about the way you do things and the way you clean things so that you are trying not to waste much water. Yeah. I, I don't know, do, 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 if you power wash, you know, do you have a concern about wasting water? Uh, I would, I would think so, yeah, I would hope so. It's like a little bit in the corner here, there we go. Okay, let's get the, the porch. Wall. I keep accidentally cleaning things that I'm not even meaning to. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is disastrous. <laughs> I'm trying to make all these straight lines and it's not happening. I'm not even making the, the straight lines. I don't think I'd be very good at this in real life. I think I'm only good at this in the game because when you hit a certain point, the game's like, hey, yeah, you, you did it. Good job. We'll just clear all that dirt for you. The little tiny bits that you didn't get, you know, like like these little bits here. But in real life, you don't have someone doing that for you. So I'd probably leave like a thousand little bad dirty marks that, yeah. It's hard. 
what's it called? You know, there's like a stool that you can get, and I'm being lazy and I'm just not even using the stool. I'm trying to maybe like level it out so that I have like a nice square space that I can use.
this thing maybe that did not make me as dull as I wanted to be aha the power of jumping it worked okay these bricks aren't done but I might get them a little bit more when um, steps are done when I do the driveway so let's start over here it's universal am I using universal I'm using universal so we could clear the, uh, we could do this bit first, you know? That's what I did with the patio. I don't know, it's just, it's satisfying to get, like, the edging done and then to go around and get the inside. It's like, kind of like uh, coloring in a picture, you know? You, you do the edges and then you go in and you color in. That's how I see it. little bits on the side, you know, you also have to make sure you're getting, and I'm getting the waters a nice, the waters, the flowers, a nice water, you know. I have uh, this, I don't want to say condition, because that sounds very serious. It's not a very serious thing, but I basically, I very, very frequently, constantly actually, say words I don't mean to say. I will mix up my words, same kind of thing. It's incredibly annoying to me, because when I film, I say the wrong thing so often, which leads to people like correcting me in the comments or making fun of me, and I genuinely don't know I'm doing it, so it's very frustrating for me. And I hear it on playback, like I, I hear it. Yeah. It happens a lot. It happened in um, a role play that I did recently where I realized that I was saying the wrong word and uh, that's really frustrating. It makes me feel like I'm dumb, you know, even though that's not the case. It's not a matter of intelligence. It's just like a brain processing thing, I guess. Um, and I'm sure other people are like that too. It just makes me feel bad because it's one thing if you just do it in real life and someone's like, oh hey, did you mean that? And it's another thing if you're going to put a video of yourself online doing that and then you're kind of subjecting yourself to ridicule. And it shouldn't be that way, but you know, it kind of is. So. Oh, this driveway, I'm, it's, it's, this looks so good. It's like, okay, now I kind of want to move this thing, but. Yeah, this is the best bit. It's like the driveway. I think I saved the best bit for last. I don't know, the roof was pretty satisfying too, but this is a little easier to maneuver around than having to deal with an awkward pitched roof, you know? The weird slopes, although what I'm dreading is like, I'm gonna finish this driveway and it's gonna be like 99% done, like remember in the patio, <laughs> and I had to figure out what, what is it, what's causing the, the little bit left, the 1% that's not clean. It's gonna be one of those darn posts out back or something like that, probably, or the, a gutter or something, but who knows, maybe, maybe we're genuinely gonna do it, we're getting, we're at 98, 98, come on, where's 99, show me 99, let's go, come on, there we go, 99, so do you think we'll do it, do you think this will be it when we're done, like, with the driveway, we'll be done with the house? Ah, oh, yes, I knew it. Oh, there we go. Fortunately. Wow, that was actually quite, quite good. Look, I can hit my car. You can actually walk around and you can kind of get other people's houses. This is as far as I can go. Oh, yeah. Ha, ah, power wash. Oh, the cat's gone. Interesting. What are the bushes? What are the flowers? This would probably destroy these flowers. It's so strong. We did it. Guys, take a look at this house. Are you ready to see the... I hope it does the thing. Oh, look at this. Go. Yeah. Oh, nice. That was great. And Calvin says the bungalow looks amazing, Doc. Thank you. You won't believe the impact it's had. Moss down the woods picking flowers and pops is muttering excitement.
excitedly about another job he's got for you, so if you hear from a Leonard Miller, that'll be him. Well, I hope you enjoyed another very satisfying power wash ASMR video. If you guys enjoyed this one just as much as the first, don't worry, I can do more power wash than me later. There's a lot of jobs to do. It's a lot of fun. So, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe so you don't miss it, and turn on notifications if you want, but you can join my Discord, I will send you notifications then when I upload. And you can join Patreon if you'd like to support the channel and get little goodies in return, like extra videos and early access. Alright, I hope you sleep well tonight, have a great week, love you guys, I'll see you in my next video, alright, goodbye.